Welcome to uh, construction of a tunnel system for a 2D side scroller game. Um, basically, uh, this method we're going to use a uh, uh, planar method with uh, vertex selection and X form and uh, loft to do a tunnel. Uh, it's a tunnel for a 2D side scroller game. It's a pretty cool, uh, quick concept. Basically, in the front view, uh, we're going to maximize this and create a huge plane. Um, this plane will have uh, multiple segments, like say give it 40 by 40. Um, so this would be a cross section of a simple tunnel system that would be used in a kind of a side scroller type game. And, um, and then you need to define your tunnel um, where it's going to go. So say the tunnel goes sideways up a slope, um, slope changes a bit, and then goes up to the surface. So um, this method is going to be used with what's called loft. So I'll move the, uh, the loft line away from the plane so you can see it. Um, now we're going to do a cross section, just a simple rectangular cross section. Um, um, and we're going to add a little corner radius to that. And we're going to use a 2D shape for that. And I always uh, draw the cross sections in the top view um, in here just to keep that uh, um, keep that in perspective and so I've got a cross view in green cross section view in green and then a blue line for my uh, my uh, actual um, tunnel now if you grab your tunnel which is the blue line and we'll call it the uh, tunnel path and you go into the uh, um, compound objects uh, below the standard primitives and select on loft and get the shape cross-section shape Let me get it here. and there you've got your tunnel um, hit F4 you can show the detail what's great about loft is it can go in and change the, the low one we're going to start just a low level detailed optimized shape for the tunnel. Keep in mind that in the modifier with loft you can do a lot of neat things. Um, you can add a scale along the path so um, if I bring my path percentage along here I'll show you with a, um, uh, an invisible alt x display as I move my path see that little uh, cursor as it goes across I can actually create see this black line here I can create keys and those keys I can actually scale or um, decrease the tunnel sizes as I want to create different types of places to go along the path. And that's great stuff, but in the 2D side scroller game that I'm building, um, I need it half open. I could easily slice and cut and dice this tunnel, but I want to reduce the number of polygons as I can. And, and so what I'm going to be doing is taking this uh, plane, adding a vertex selection, and uh, or volume selection rather, and going in and um, selecting by vertice and selecting the mess object, which is the tunnel itself, and add some soft selection. You can see the area that the uh, the actual loft is going to project. So I'm projecting that surface of the um, loft onto um, the plane. And in order to modify that surface, you have to X-form it. So if I go to the gizmo on the X-form, you can see that I have a nice nice uh, view of the tunnel cross-section for a side-scroller game. And my students are using this for a Unity project. So if I take this um, loft, you can scale the loft, um, add more pieces, and change the, uh, the shape of the tunnel automatically just from the loft and change it different sizes and model it different ways. There's a lot of the different ways to model a tunnel but you've got really good geometry, um, uh, very consistent, nice to texture with, with a good planar map for this uh, one plane. Um, so if I hide this, um, there's my tunnel and I'm going to run my character up at the tunnel and go to the surface and fight the enemies and 
um, and have fun with it. So that's my tunnel construction project with the use of uh, loft and planar methods.